happen on the playground. Sometimes us adults need a reminder too. And by bullying, I mean shaming, gossiping, intimidation, alienation, acting like a jerk online, and just basically not respecting the boundaries of others. So what is the antidote to bullying? I mean, what a humble opinion. So number one, take a look in the mirror, and let's just make sure the bully isn't us. I know this is really a common call. I'm sorry to push you far outside your zone today, but stay with me here. Don't freak out. But if you're not treating others to the best of your abilities, or yourself, let's look inside. Let's take care of ourselves. Find and deal with what is hurt you. Forgive others. You know what? We've got to start with forgiving ourselves. So number two, we have one. Kindness. Kindness is not weakness, right? We have to be ourselves. Shine your light. Love yourself first. Be good to one another. And dare I say the end of the planet. Let's love one another. Truly be good to yourself and to others. You know what? It takes an enormous strength of character. If you don't have something to tell me for you, it's all okay. Maybe let's just step back and rethink if you really need to say that at all. Because our words matter. They matter to others. We also matter to ourselves. So frustrated by the behavior that we see in others, we have to step up right now and be the change. It's on us. The next generation is also the same They're watching us. They're watching our digital footprints. We have to be the positive example. This kindness and love is all that matters. My initiative cultivating respect with our factor aims to have discussions. Sometimes it's difficult like this, but they're so crucial right now. So thank you for listening to me. Thank you. Thank you for 64 and she is 34 years old.
everybody, Claire Murdo, your 2020 American Women of Service National Ambassador. I am here with Darcy Castro, our American Women of Service Mrs. Georgia 2021. And we are here doing three questions with Claire. So Darcy, the three questions with Claire. <laughs> three questions with Claire. <laughs> so our first question is, one of my platforms is called hashtag everyday empowered. Yes. And what do you do? Do you have a certain mantra saying somebody you look up to or how do you stay everyday empowered? You know, I think it is by goal setting. Like it's the, for me, that's what makes me feel good about myself. Let me remove my mask from my ear. <laughs> um, is having something to work towards. That's why I like pageantry. That's why I love American Woman of Service. You know, mm -hmm. gives us something to work towards, gives us a sisterhood to be a part of and to help build up that organization. But I feel good about myself when I have achieved something mm -hmm. or when I've set something that, you know, maybe once I didn't think I was worthy of, but now I'm doing it um, because, you know, we're never too old. So that's what makes me feel good. Hashtag never too old. Yes. Okay, my next question is another one of my platforms is bringing awareness to ending period poverty. Mm -hmm. So what can you do to bring awareness to or help spread the word about ending period poverty in your community? So I think one of the first things that all of us can do is destigmatize talking about menstruation. I think it's not dirty. It's not dirty. But talking about you know tampon Tuesday and all that, mm -hmm. you know, it's a uh, bringing those conversations into the forefront it is we've talked about this how mm -hmm. we give life it's it's a miracle that our bodies as women that menstruation is a superpower this. that's right it really is and you know being able to just bring that conversation into the forefront i think is important because that will lead to legislation that will bring bring about meaningful change for women very much so and we both have and the tampon tax people tampon tax time. look up your tampon tax in time. your state and you and i both have daughters that are just yes. starting yeah. their yeah. their journeys range. in Absolutely. that age range and to have those hard conversations and those awkward conversations with your yeah. daughters are so important yeah. and I think something that is I'm just going on a little tangent for a second mm -hmm. is something that is forgotten about <laughs> um, about period poverty too is that then it can also affect your reproductive health mm. and that's super important yeah. so that's right okay our last question is, what new skill have you picked up in 2020? What a year for new skills. <laughs> <laughs> Mask sewing here is when right? I Right? Mean, um, yeah, that. <clears throat> I think being able to be flexible, accepting change, and learning how to adapt. So, mm -hmm. I, so. you know, kind of taking it back to the pageant world, a lot of things have changed. Mm -hmm. um, we saw Miss, oh jeez, I think Miss USA was tonight. Um, oh, we gotta go. Miss Teen we USA gotta go check that out. was last night. Their finals were last night, and I watched part of that online. I was like, look at this. This is a huge national pageant, one of the biggest. It's, it's you know, it's a whopper, and they were mm -hmm. able to pull it off safely. Yep. So we are learning to adapt. We are learning to change, and you know, learning how to, to get on with it no matter what. So, you know, I think that that's been something that I've been able to do that um, is just super necessary right now. And, you know, just like sometimes things gotta change. You gotta adapt your goals. You know, we had American Women of Service pageant this year in September in Portland and we were like, oh my gosh, are we, we gonna be able to it. pull this off? And you know what, and when we did, and our director did mm. it safely, she did it well, and everybody, yep. you know, everybody was safe and, you know, healthy from that pageant and I think it's going to be the, the same thing next year. I think Probably. there's a huge possibility that by next summer we're still under these same types of restrictions. Yeah. Rest hopefully not, but you know, but you know, we might have to do that again. We're going to have to adapt and we're going to have to alter our goals and you know what? It's okay. Mm -hmm. It is okay. It is okay. okay. And we're going to be okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You have been on three questions with Claire with my awesome gal pal. Darcy this is what Castro. you get from pageantry. I know, right? <laughs> Gal pal Darcy Castro, 2021 American Women of Service, Mrs. Georgia. We'll be looking for her at nationals this summer, 2021. If you are interested in American Women of Service, check out that link at the top of the page, the about section. Join us. Join us. And I encourage everybody to do community service in whatever capacity they can within their state. Thanks, everybody.